Hi, I'm George, and this is a Photoshop Elements How to Remove an Object video. We'll be taking out this soda can right here and leaving it like that. Now, because there's a lot of patterning in here, but it's pretty recognizable, we'll be doing this with the Clone Stamp tool. It's an easy tool for this kind of a project. And we'll be starting off over here with the brand new original image. Just get that out of the way. There we go. So here's our original image. Now, I think this is just a little bit soft focus. Obviously, it's out of focus in here. But I think just a touch of sharpness is not going to hurt the picture, so we'll do that first. Go up to Enhance, go down to Adjust Sharpness, and I have mine set at, oh, let's set it at 150%. Let's see what this looks like before and after. There's before, there's after. It's a real subtle amount. You can mostly see it right down here, but I think that helps. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now, whenever you do this kind of replacement or removal of anything, you want to do this on its own separate layer. So go to the background, right click, duplicate layer, choose OK, and we'll do all of our work on that layer up here. So let's now zoom in on this a little bit. There we go. If you're in this tight, it gets a bit confusing. You get all this texture to worry about in here. So let's just back out a bit so it's not that confusing. And that looks OK. I think we can do it at this point. Now, the clone stamp tool right over here, the way you use this is you choose a brush size. There's my current brush size. As you can see down here, that's 70 pixels. It's always best to use this on a soft brush. So don't use a hard brush, use a soft edge brush. The larger your brush, the softer the edge is going to be. Opacity, I'll leave mine at 100, and I'll leave the blend mode at normal. Over here, aligned. This means that anywhere I'm copying from is going to always stay aligned to my copy to point as I'm moving along. And that's really the best way to work. On the overlay here, you can show or hide the overlay. I have mine showing overlay and clipped and I'll pass it at 100. Let's see what that looks like. To use this tool, go in here, hold the Alt key down, choose a clone from spot. I'll choose right here on this line, and click, let go, and then you see how you can see that bit in there? That's the overlay right there. That's what we're seeing in there. Notice how it moves. So move my brush, that's aligned to it. If I don't show the overlay, then we don't have that showing. See, that's not there. So having the overlay showing is very useful. Auto hide and invert, I never use those. I like always seeing what it is that I'm copying. Invert comes in kind of as a negative like that. So there we go. I always have my set at show overlay and clicked. And I have my opacity always set at 100. That just seems to be the easiest way to do it. Now when you're doing this kind of a cloning, if you have any recognizable lines or anything, always start from there. Don't worry about this stuff in here. Start from your line area. So again, I'll hold the Alt key down. I'll pick a spot in here. I'll go right to here and click, let go of the Alt key, you can then come over here and line it up. Now the reason I like working with a line is because I can then align that line and everything is going to work out better. And then just hold the mouse button down and begin painting over. Now if you keep on going, you're going to run into the can again, you see right there? See that, that little plus sign is into where the can section is? Let's just do a Control Z and undo that. So make sure you don't go too far and do this in little stages, little steps. So Alt and click. So line that up and I'll do a little bit in here. There we go. Come in a bit further. Same thing. Alt and click and move it in a bit further again. The first thing you want to do is just to get rid of whatever object is you want to get rid of. So we'll take care of that as our first step. Same thing again. Alt click. Come back in here. Overlay that. And let's take this out. There's also that shadow in there. You need to get rid of that shadow. I'll just keep on doing the same thing. I'll go back a bit further this time and bring it in so a bit more space to work with. And let's see if we can just kind of work out that shadow. And I'll take it right up just next to that cord. That's looking pretty good. Okay, now we're getting some repeating stuff happening in here. So you want to come in and do a bit more work to hide some of that repeating. So I'll come down here. I'll and click right here and I'll pull that up. Again, I have a line to match. So I'm using that line. Now you can brush like this, or you can click, just kind of tap several times. It's up to you. A little dark spot here. I'll move that up a little bit. Just making things a bit more random. There's kind of a blank area here. I'll come in here and cover up some of that light stuff right there. You can also pull from up here and come down in here, putting in just some randomness as you go. I don't like that spot. It's original, but I don't like it. So I'm going to take something from, you know, maybe just right here and I'll put that right over that spot like that. That's better. It's a bit too bright right here. I see that 
that's where that overlay is showing. So just hold the Alt key down, you won't see the overlay. So this takes them from here and put it right here. So I'll go right to here, Alt and click. Now that spot is copied from and just tap that in. I'm tapping right now instead of painting because I'm so close to that cord. I'll click a little more of this just right up against that and that looks pretty good. Let's do some stuff up here. It's kind of a spot here, a spot here, and a spot there. They all match. So I'll grab something, let's say right here, and I'll bring it over that spot a little bit. In right here, put right in between. And then just coming in and doing this to hide a little bit of that repetition. And that looks pretty good. Now, the upper board is a little bit darker than the lower board, and it came in just a little bit lighter with our clone stamping. We can fix that by going down here to this tool. This is the burn tool, it's right here. I have a much larger brush set on here. There's my size exposure set at 50. It's set for mid-tones. And this just darkens things down. So you can come in here and just, just tap in a little bit. Don't do very much of this, just a little bit. And that can help to add again some more variation and differentiate those areas. And that looks pretty good. Let's now put this back to fit screen. Okay, let's take a look at that. There's the original showing. There it is before and there it is after. It's a little bit transparent showing right here. We can fix that with another trick. I'll be using the same clone stamp tool, but there's one more trick to show you. So I'll grab the clone stamp tool right here and I'm going to use the left bracket key to bring down my size. It's just a bit larger than that size. I'm also going to go over here and let's just do another alt and I'll click right there. That's better. I want this just a little bit larger than that cord. And right here where it's transparent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our background layer here. It's hide our foreground layer, come down to the background layer. I'm going to come right on top of that, right there. Alt and click. Let's come back onto our foreground here. And let's bring that piece right back in, just like that. I'm actually copying from one layer and pasting onto the other layer. And all I want is just one click right there, maybe a little bit further up in here like that, and that should fix it. Down here I get that shadow showing, so that's not any good, but I can maybe come in from the left side just enough, just I'm just kind of touching that edge, and one tap there, and that brings in that solid cable again. Okay, back out to fit screen. I think that worked out very well. Let's just double check. There we go, and that looks good. Okay, so that's how to remove an object using Photoshop Elements, and using the Clone Stamp tool. Now, if you want to learn more about how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that in the description, and I'll see you next time.